all the blocks containing the fossil have now been scanned. With those scans, the team were able to separate the individual bones and then put them back together to create a 3D image of the ichthyosaur's body before it was attacked. They've added a head based on estimates of other ichthyosaur species. That's magnificent. This is the whole animal, and we estimate that it may have been up to around about four and a half metres long. Is that bigger than most? In the yes, outline? this is certainly bigger than most of the ichthyosaurs that we see at Lyme Regis. Looks huge, looks amazing. Here are the forelimbs right at the front, and we've got hind limbs here, and at the back we've got a tail bend. This is supported by the backbone, which extends along the whole length of the body. But that bend is natural, isn't it? That's not a yes. break. That gives strength to the lower element of the tail for yes. driving it forward. Much like a shark, the tail bend is the main propulsive organ of the animal. So could this be a new species? Yes. These pieces of evidence together suggest that it is going to be a new species. And it's jolly exciting. They don't come along every day. Historic. Yes. <laughs> This is wonderful news. A sighting by Chris on the beach in Lyme Regis has led to the discovery of a new species of ichthyosaur, adding to our knowledge of these fascinating creatures. It's extraordinary how much you can discover from one single fossil. Digital reconstruction has allowed us to rebuild this animal to reveal how it looked and how it moved. We've discovered, for the first time, that this creature was countershaded. But that didn't stop it from being attacked. By analyzing its bones, we've been able to work out that its most likely attacker was a Temnodontosaurus, the most ferocious predator of the seas at that time. It's been a fascinating journey of discovery. But for me, the real wonder is the bones themselves. I can't wait to see what they look like when they're finally cleaned. After many months of painstaking and patient preparation, Chris and his team have finally completed their work on the fossil of our ancient sea dragon. Here it is finished. Wow. It, it's really beautiful, isn't it? I mean, it is beautiful, that's for sure. Thank you. It's a great specimen, isn't it? it lovely. And how many new species have been discovered in the last 100 years? Very few. Very, very mm -hmm. few. And it's thrilling to find something yeah. that, that's, you know, just never been seen before. <laughs>